Hi guys, Heather with Feather Bear Designs. I'm coming with the last part of the tutorial for the rain, rainbow for the crayon inspired tumbler. So you guys have seen up until this point everything that I've gotten done on it so far. Um, I was going to, in this tutorial, I was going to show you how I cut the file and applied the vinyl to the cup. Um, I ran into a time crunch on this because this is actually um, for a customer. So I'm trying to get this done in a timely manner and I had to utilize the time that I had today before I could make the video to apply the vinyl. So that being said, I went on and I, onto my computer and I searched for umbrella girl images. Um, I think I put an umbrella girl silhouette and I searched until I found one that I liked. And then I uh, made sure that there wasn't any copyrights on that image. Um, you can go in and you can search and see where the original image is from. Um, I was able to find it on Shutterstock and I have a subscription on Shutterstock, so I purchased it. I purchased the file that I used um, so that I would be able to apply it to my cup and sell it without any issues. So, what I did is I just put that into my Silhouette software. I um, I had to trace the image even though I purchased it because I couldn't get the file to open in my software, but that's just because I'm, I'm not that techie. Anyhow, I got the image traced into my software and I cut it. What I did with this is I cut it on cardstock first so that I could see about placement. Um, once I had the sizing right, then I cut it in the vinyl. And I chose the opal vinyl because I thought as it moves and it changes colors, it's kind of reminiscent of the color change on the top. So there she is. And I just used a clear transfer tape, slapped her on there. She's all ready to go, ready for epoxy. So that is gonna be what we do next. The last coat of epoxy to seal everything in. I'm gonna put you guys down here where you can see the cup and I will be right back with the epoxy. Okay, so I have my epoxy mixed. I used equal parts of the amazing clear cast from Alumalite. That is my preferred epoxy. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my turner on. Hopefully you guys will be able to see what I'm doing here. I'm literally going to just dump the epoxy on and smooth it out. And this is just going to be the final coat. This is going to sill in the decal. making sure the entire thing is getting completely and evenly coated. Don't want any bare spots on this tumbler. And then I'm just going to take what's left in the cup and I'm going to lightly drizzle it. You guys can see that little stream of epoxy back and forth over the cup as it's turning. That's it for the final step on this particular tutorial. I appreciate you guys sticking with me and hanging in there while I was getting this last part done. Um, thanks so much for watching. If you guys are enjoying the tutorials, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on the new stuff. And if you like the videos, give them a like because that's what keeps these videos going. Um, if YouTube thinks that we're not being productive, then they'll shut us down. So thanks guys, have a good night.